first of all, I'm Marshall Manley, and I am not a scientist. I am not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I am just someone who has been very curious over the last five years about uh, what's available out there for us and what we're putting into our bodies. And I've taken baby steps along the way and changed some things in my life and uh, started to have some significant health benefits after changing and tweaking these little things. And um, I'm excited to share these things with you guys tonight. Uh, many of the topics that I'm going to be discussing in the first half of this presentation are uh, a little controversial. And so uh, I want to encourage you to do your own research. Don't just believe me because of what I say. Um, you know, make sure you have a, a piece of paper and pen and take notes and do your own research and see if the things that I'm going to be speaking about tonight are um, in your best interest as well. And I'm confident they will be. Just want to make sure you know that I, I want to encourage you to do your own study as well. I also want to make sure you guys know who are watching tonight that uh, if there are any internet issues, there should be a little button on the bottom of your screen to refresh the page to re-enter into the webinar. I am connected to a cabled internet. I am not using Wi-Fi right now. And uh, I'm, I'm doing that so I have the best connection possible on my side. So if there are connection issues, if there are times when you can't hear me or can't see anything, um, that, uh, that could be a problem on your side as well. So there's always kind of, we have to expect some glitches occasionally. So I apologize in advance if that happens. Um, I always like to say at the beginning of my classes that uh, these statements have not been approved by the FDA to treat, cure, prevent, or diagnose disease. And anything that you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. All right, I think I covered all of my bases, so we can go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and uh, share my screen with you really quick here, and then we'll be good to go. Let me just uh, double check on my side that everything is good. This is my first time doing this alone with this platform. And uh, it's a very, it's an amazing platform, but it's a little complicated at the same time. So let me just double check here. Make sure we are all good. Uh, cross my fingers and hope that you guys can see what I am seeing. All right, so like I said before, my name is Marshall Manley and I am a USANA Gold Director. Now, that's not really going to make sense for you tonight, those of you who are guests on this uh, on this presentation. But we are uh, we have ranks that we're we're distinguished by depending on our income in our businesses, and so. Uh, Tonight, we're not going to be talking about business. We're going to be talking about nutrition and some options to help with, uh, with nutrition. So um, I'm also a co-founder of Team Infinity and co-founder of HealthCore LLC. I'm also a lifetime platinum pay setter, which means that I got my business um, off to a, a fast start. Um, I'm also a husband and father, and I am an aspiring stay-at-home dad. I'm on the bottom right-hand corner. You see my daughter, Lydia, she is three, going on 13, and my boy, Eli, in the middle, and my beautiful wife, Nani, and uh, she is taking care of our little rugrats tonight, and on the top left corner, that's me speaking in front of one of my biggest crowds, which was about 1,200 people in uh, Long Beach, California. So, just want to show you a little bit about me and my family, and uh, get right into it. So, I want to start off this presentation tonight by talking about today's health reality because living a life you love begins with great health. And unfortunately, many people are plagued by the leading causes of premature death. Um, you can see here that you know 17.3 million people are dying from cardiovascular disease every single year. And then there's cancer and stroke 
respiratory disease and diabetes. These diseases are considered to be lifestyle diseases. Do we have a predisposition to some of these diseases? Absolutely. But your lifestyle is really what's going to turn on those genes or keep them off. Okay, and we're going to talk about that in a little more detail as we go on this evening. So what are the main causes of these diseases? Well, if you go back 100 years and you look at the kind of food that people were eating, you can see that they ate a lot more fruits and vegetables, right? They had a, a lot less free radicals and a lot more antioxidants. Now, free radicals were, are not your parents in the 60s. Okay, free radicals are molecules that actually uh, damage your DNA and they damage your cells. Okay, it's like pollution and toxins, and we're going to talk about that too. Antioxidants are molecules, healthy molecules that help protect your cells, and they're mainly found in fruits and vegetables. Okay, and I always like to take that word antioxidants and separate it. Antioxidation. So it helps it, it keeps it from oxidizing or rusting. Okay. And again, we're going to talk about that a little bit later on this evening. And, uh, and just so you guys know, I plan on finishing up uh, no more than an hour from the time we started. Um, you know, sometimes this is a 40 minute presentation, depending on how much I talk, but it's usually around about 45, 50 minutes, just to make sure you guys are all on the same page as me. So, now we're looking into the 2000s, right? They've switched places. Free radicals are uh, the highest on here and antioxidants are the lowest because we're not eating a lot of fruits and vegetables anymore. We're eating lots of fast food or uh, what I like to call food-like substances. There's, we're, we're overfed in this country and we're undernourished. And that's the main problem that we're finding with these diseases. I have a friend in uh, California, in Laguna Hills, where I'm from. And he posted this uh, a year or two ago, and uh, he's now a customer of mine. And uh, I asked him permission way back then if I could use this as a part of my nutrition class. And I'd like to read it to you guys right now. So he posted this, uh, you know, on the evening of, uh, of the night that this occurred. He said, so I woke up this morning feeling some pressure in my chest. I wanted to blow it off because I had a ton of work to do, and I'm only 34. The pressure got worse. Some medication and a stent later, I had a freaking heart attack. It's time to make some real life changes. So my goal tonight, with all of you guys who are watching this webinar, is that you don't have to be compelled to, to make some real life changes. My friend Daniel was compelled. It took a heart attack that nearly killed him to start making healthier choices. So maybe you're listening to this webinar right now, and that's where you are in life, that you, uh, you've had a scary experience. You've had uh, some type of issue that has kind of scared you straight. Um, and other people on the webinar are interested in preventing something, from like the, preventing something like that from happening and uh, you're interested in investing in your health and, and doing all you can to be healthy now. So no matter where you are on that spectrum, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And again, my, my wish for you is that you'll start taking baby steps from the information that I'm gonna share with you going forward and you'll start making healthier, healthier decisions and lifestyle choices. So if someone were to ask you what is health, what would you, what would you say? Well, I'll first tell you what health is not. It is not the absence of symptoms. Okay, let me, let me clarify what that means. My friend Daniel had a heart attack, right? He's probably had heart disease for like 10 years for that to happen because that's the end result, right? But the interesting thing about cardiovascular disease, heart disease, you know, whatever you want to call it, is that it's, it, it doesn't have symptoms. So by the time you start having symptoms, it's too late. So just because you have an absence of symptoms doesn't mean you're healthy, but health really is the absence of 
disease. And disease begins at the cellular level. And that's where nutrition matters the most. We have 50 to 100 trillion cells in our bodies. That is a lot of cells and a lot of work for our body to do to keep those healthy. So my main question for the night is, are your cells getting the nutrients needed to win the fight? And I'm here to tell you no, that you, you're not getting enough. Some people believe you, you can. And uh, again, I'm going to show you why that's not possible these days. Let's take the Nutrition Security Institute, for example. They did an 80-year study on the decline in mineral content of a medium apple. So you can see right here that there was a 50% decline in calcium, 96% decline in iron, and 82% decline in magnesium. The same thing is happening with changes in nutrient content of our beef and our chicken. Just two examples right here. Um, they had a 100% decline in vitamin A in beef and a 70% decline in our chicken. Why do you guys think that our fruits and vegetables and our beef and chicken, why are they decreasing in their nutrient content? Well, uh, just a couple simple reasons is things have changed over the last 100 years in the way that we raise our cattle and our chickens and how we grow our our fruits and vegetables. We're using a lot of chemicals. We're using uh, genetic modifications, hormones, you know, just a lot of uh, – a lot of different changes and so it's causing a decrease in the in the nutrients of these foods because that's happening the the government came out with the recommended daily allowance or the daily value okay those are the those are the the letters you'll see on your on your nutrition labels okay so what are what is the daily value and the recommended daily allowance well basically they're minimal amounts of essential nutrients established to prevent deficiency so minimal amounts not designed as optimal levels so rda levels like having poverty level income it's like the bare minimum that you can get that you can have to get by you're barely surviving on poverty level income just like you're barely surviving on recommended daily allowances so when you see a nutrition label on the top of those red bars, it says percentage of daily value. Okay, so you have uh, vitamin A right there, for example, or let's let's take vitamin C. Okay, 60 milligrams, 100% daily value. So what does that mean? Let's take this uh, on the on the right hand side, the frozen concentrate Hawaiian zone. Um, it says 100% vitamin C. So if you look at the label on the back, that's what it's going to say again. It's going to say 100% DV. That's basically saying that per serving, every time you drink a cup of this Hawaiian Zone, that it's giving you 100% of the recommended daily allowance of that vitamin C. On the left-hand side, you'll see the apple juice. And my arrow is pointing out that it has 120% DV. So I want you guys to understand when you're looking at products and labels, that DV stands for daily value or recommended daily allowance. So this is a, a whole 20% above what is recommended per serving. Okay, so we're all on the same page, right? So notwithstanding this, uh, you know, government mandated recommendations, check this out. The percent of U.S. population not meeting the recommended daily allowance. This is a 2009, so these numbers are probably worse. I just want to focus on one right now. I want to focus on vitamin E, and 86% of the U.S. population is deficient in vitamin E. So some of you guys that are watching right now might be asking yourself, well, why are we 80, Why are 86% of us deficient? And, and what is vitamin E? Vitamin E is one of the most important vitamins, okay? On this, uh, on this chart on the bottom, you have vitamins and minerals. Vitamin E is one of the most important vitamins that helps prevent cardiovascular disease and cancer. Ironically, the number one and number two leading causes of health-related death. So now I answer the question, why, or why are 86% of us 
not getting enough. Because to eat enough vitamin E, you'd have to pretty much consume 30 pounds of spinach, almost 74 cups, cooked, boiled, drained, and without salt. Okay? No one's doing that. And if you are, it's not a sustainable practice of eating, you know, pretty much drinking um, green smoothies all day long, pretty much. Not just for three meals, but all day to get that much green smoothies, okay? So that's why we're deficient. So on top of this vitamin and mineral deficiency, we're also being bombarded by free radicals. Remember, like I said earlier, free radicals are not your parents in the 60s. Free radicals are damaging molecules that, that damage our, our cells, that damage our DNA. And that happens from pollution and stress, um, radiation and toxins. The average woman in the United States of America puts 12 products on her body every single day from head to toe. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Uh, you got makeup in there, which counts for at least five. And then you have your lotions and, I mean, you name it, women are putting it on their bodies. And every single one of those products, my friends, have minute amounts of chemical preservatives that are now being linked to cancer and hormone issues and thyroid dysfunctions. I mean, you guys, they, they put these uh, – these women put these products on their bodies and within seconds it's absorbed into the bloodstream. And I'm not, I'm not debating whether or not those preservatives are safe or not when they're isolated by themselves in that one product. I'm sure they're just fine. But when you combine 12 together or 17, when we're talking about teenage girls, that's an overload of toxins. Okay. So I encourage you to research parabens and only do not accept anything less than products that do not contain parabens. Only purchase products that have uh, paraben-free preservatives. And we're going to talk a little bit about that, uh, something that we offer as well. GMOs, a very controversial, uh, very controversial subject, right? Genetically modified organisms. So products, uh, you know, corn, for example, and other fruits and vegetables, they are being modified scientifically to be uh, resistant to herbicides and pesticides, to grow bigger and grow faster, to be resistant to uh, different kinds of weather and things like that. And it all sounds great and all, but for me, I just want to stick with Mother Nature and how things have been made for the last 5,000 years, okay? Um, and I have to be honest with you guys right now. There is not one single study out there that shows that GMOs are bad for you. It's true. There aren't any studies out there showing with, with, with proof that they are bad. However, I want to stay on the safe side. I want to, I want to err on the side of caution on this one, you guys. So look into GMOs, decide for yourself. If they are something that you want to, uh, you know, avoid, and there's lots of products at Costco and and other uh, retailers that are providing products that say GMO free, they there are no laws on the books right now in the United States that say that they have that the that the the seller has to inform the consumer. They don't have to. In, in like 60 other countries, they have laws on the books about GMOs. And if they're going to sell GMOs, at least have a label on the product that, that helps the consumer to make a, an educated decision. That's all I want. Okay? But like I said, do your research and uh, learn about GMOs. It's a very interesting and controversial subject. Another one is aspartame. Um, there's products that are now coming out uh, that say no aspartame. And aspartame goes by lots of different names like Splenda, Sucralose, Neotame, just to, just to name a few. Um, aspartame is an artificial sweetener, and the key word there is artificial. Why would you want to put something artificial in your body? Okay, if you're going to drink soda, just drink the regular ones, and even preferably drink uh, the throwbacks or the Mexican Cokes, the ones with real sugar in them. If you're going to drink something that's bad for you, 
might as well get the good stuff and not the bad stuff. Okay, does that make sense? Um, the other day I bought some gum that said aspartame free on it. And that's where I'm like, okay, huh, I wonder if it has like xylitol or, or uh, stevia or something natural as a sweetener. And that's when I found a third one down called Neotame. And uh, I, search, I researched Neotame, and it's in the same family. It even sounds like aspartame. So a lot of these products, even some Pepsi products I've seen, are starting to come out and say no aspartame. But they're just replacing it with something different in the same family as an artificial sweetener. So uh, anyways, interesting uh, and, and again, a very controversial subject. Another very controversial subject are uh, artificial colors. So on the left side, you see Kellogg's Nutrigrain here in the United States. They use red number 40, yellow number 6, and blue number 1 for their colors. Completely fake, petroleum-based, my opinion, nastiness. Okay? Over in Britain, the same exact company uses beet extract like for their, for their colors. Why is the same company using different colors? Because over in the European Union, I don't even know how many countries are over there now, like 20, but uh, they don't allow the use anymore of these artificial colors. And it's really sad because a lot of our medications for children, um, vitamins, ca candy, I mean, you name it, you guys, there's red number 40 in like everything. So start paying attention when you read the labels about what you are, uh, let me go back to that really quick, what you're eating. Because the reason why red number 40 has been banned over there in the European Union is because they have some conclusive studies that have shown a, a direct correlation between red number 40 and ADHD in children. That the reason why the child is acting like that, bouncing off the walls, unable to concentrate, hyperactive, is is because it's a, uh, a an allergic reaction to the red number 40. More and more people are finding that they are actually allergic to this toxic chemical that is used in so many of our foods. So watch out for those. Again, a very controversial uh, ingredient. So this is a, a very popular children's vitamin. I've done my absolute best in uh, trying to cover up who that is because I don't want to talk bad about other companies, but I want to show you guys how ridiculous, how absolutely ridiculous this uh, vitamin is. So check it out. Ingredients on a label in the United States are typically written in order of greatest quantity to the least. So we start off with sucrose. That is table sugar. Okay. So the very first ingredient in this vitamin is sugar. Congratulations. You go down a little bit more and then you start getting the artificial flavors. On the second line, um, you have aspartame. One of the black arrows is highlighting that. And then right after that, you have red number 40 and then all of the colors of the rainbow. And then you get your vitamin A and your vitamin C and all of the vitamins, right? So you have more sugar, more artificial sugar, and red number 40 than you have vitamin C. I don't know if I need to say any more about how pathetic that is. But again, please look at the labels and understand them. And look, if you can't pronounce an ingredient, you know, it's uh it's a little bit of a red flag there sometimes, okay? So let's see here. <clears throat> Moving on. Another very popular product in the United States are uh, uh, protein shakes. Um, this consumer reports, it's a company, uh, it's a kind of like a third-party watchdog. They did a study on the top 10 protein shakes on the market, EAS, Muscle Milk, GNC, Jillian Michaels. Uh, did I already say Muscle Milk? Um, and they did a test on how much heavy metal content are in them. Arsenic, cadmium, lead, and mercury. So there's four on there that have, excuse me, yeah, four that have tested uh, positive for dangerous levels of these heavy metals. Now, heavy metals are in everything, you guys, but 
they're supposed to be non-detectable. Okay, so when you have these numbers on here, it's a little bit scary. When you buy a poor quality, cheap protein shake, you're going to get some additional ingredients that aren't on the label. You're going to get some additional ingredients that uh, aren't being regulated. So be careful when you're purchasing um, these supplements for your kids and these protein shakes for you and your family. Don't. Uh, there, there's a saying that uh, I want to share with you guys that nothing good is cheap and nothing cheap is good. Let me repeat that. Nothing good is cheap and nothing cheap is good. This is your body, my friends. You only have one, right? Be careful and, and pay more attention and invest in the products that you put in to your body because we need more antioxidants and nutrition. They are essential to maintaining cellular health. And uh, we're going to talk about a little bit right now what we can do even though we're not getting a lot of these fruits and vegetables, okay? But let me tell you what um, antioxidants, you know, the main molecule that we want, the main vitamin that we want from our fruits um, that help with, with uh, decreasing the oxidative process in our body. Let's take this apple, for example. So... You, uh, you cut open the apple, right, and you let it sit out there on the countertop for a couple hours, a couple days, and it's going to start browning really fast like it is on the left-hand side. Oxidation. It's browning. You're speeding it up. When you Before you cut it open, it was just sitting there happy, right? And it wasn't being exposed to free radical damage, okay? So on the right-hand side, no oxidation. On the left-hand side, oxidation. Um, I also want you guys to picture in your mind uh, what you guys eat at the Super Bowl a couple weeks ago. Maybe some guacamole. Guacamole does not look good when it's been out for a little while, am I right? One of the things that you can do to slow down that oxidative process is to put some lemon juice in the ingredients, to um, put some lemon juice, squirt it on top because it's so packed with antioxidants that will slow down the oxidative process. So do you guys think the same thing applies to our bodies? If you can slow down the browning process in guacamole that has cells in it, do you think you could do that for yourself? Do you think that smoking cigarettes speeds up your death, speeds up cell death? I'm sure that all of us can agree that that is true. So if you can speed up your death, if you can do things to your body, to uh, to hurt it, can't you do the same thing on the opposite side and slow it down? Well, that's what we're talking about tonight. How do we slow down the oxidative process? Okay, um, a lot of people are resorting to supplementation, but the unfortunate thing about that is that 54% of tablets tested in a recent study did not disintegrate within 20 minutes. So this illustrates that disintegration and an indicator of product quality is a dietary supplement's concern. Most supplements on the market, my friends, are subpar. They're not good. There have been a lot of um, some bad, a lot of bad press in the media lately about supplements. So this one says, investigation of supplements at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, and GNC revealed troubling discoveries. How many of you on this, on this webinar tonight are purchasing your supplements from one of those box, retail, box store retailers? I mean, you know, there's no regulation or li there's very little regulation in the supplement world. So you literally have no guarantee about what you're buying. You have no idea what's in it. And for the most part, they're probably made in China. Okay, and guess what? You're not going to find that on your bottle. I promise you that. It's going to say distributed by a company in the United States. So, excuse me, I'll take a sip of water. But one of the really sad things about, uh, about this is that when supplements don't work for people, they resort to medication or they're doing both, right? You know, you go into the, doctor office, the doctor's office, say, doctor, I have a headache, and they're going to put you on some pills. <clears throat> doctor, I have high blood pressure. 
or have low blood pressure. And they're going to put you on some more pills, right? My knee hurts. It's continuing to hurt. They're going to chop it out and put a new one in. My back hurts. They're going to put a shot in there, right? So it's all just medication, 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 right? I'm not saying that medication is a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's way, way overused, right? Um, we, we always reach for the first thing we do when we have a headache. What do we do? We reach for the Tylenol or the Advil or some other painkiller. But guess what? The headache is still there, but the medication has numbed it. Do you guys know that? But the headache is still there. It didn't make it go away. It just prevents you from feeling it, which is the same thing that blood pressure medication does. You still have blood pressure problems, but the medication fixes it. So if you get off your meds, you're still going to have blood pressure problems, right? So these are just temporary fixes. They're not curing anything either. Um, and the really sad thing about, uh, oh, let me go back really quick and just let you guys know that there are, I, I, I wholeheartedly believe that uh, our, our system and the medication and the companies that we have are absolutely amazing. But when we have those headaches, when we have those aches and pains, what we got to sit back and think about, you know, what, what is our body trying to tell us? Am I dehydrated? Am I having an allergic reaction to red number 40? Am I having an allergic reaction to aspartame <clears throat> or something, you guys? We got to listen to our bodies more and stop turning off the alarms. Are, are some medications absolutely necessary and crucial? Yes. I'm not telling you to get off of those. I'm just encouraging you guys to listen to your body because it's trying to tell you something. The really sad thing about uh, medications in general are that uh, if they, if medication overdose, medication complication, um, you know, you know when you're watching those commercials when they're talking about a medication and there's people flocking in the forest and in the in the sunflower fields and they're talking about all these horrible things that could happen to you as a side effect. And one of those side effects are death. Well, if medication complication was considered a leading cause of health-related premature death, it would be number three between cancer and stroke per year, my friends. Sad thing. My story with USANA began about 21 years ago when I was 13 years old. That makes me 34 years old, so you guys don't have to count. Um, and my dad experienced some significant health improvements after taking some USANA products. And uh, subsequently, he decided that he wanted to share them with his friends and family, and he started the business. And... Um, he has uh, since made over a million dollars in his USANA business over the last 21 years. It's always kind of been just a side thing for him. You know, he's always had his iron in, in uh, many different ventures and many different businesses. But, uh, you know, I've been a consumer since I was 13 years old. But it wasn't until uh, a few years ago, I think it was like three or four years ago now, that I got laid off from my job out of nowhere. And... I decided that at that time that I too wanted to start sharing these amazing products with people, the USANA products, your health, your life, your way. So we've been doing it now for a little over three years, and it has been an absolutely fantastic ride um, of blessing people's lives, of sharing these products with people. So at this point in the presentation, um, I'm going to talk to you about USANA uh, and what it's done for me in my life and some of the flagship products. So you can be educated, so you can make an educated decision about these products. And uh, I'll first off start off and tell you that USANA is Greek for true health. We are a publicly traded company, and we've been around since 1992. So that's about 23, 24 years. We are, uh, like I said, a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. We are in 20 countries and we are approaching this year, we are expected to reach $1 billion in annual revenue. So that is fantastic. On the, on the picture there on the bottom, uh, between uh, two of those flags, you see a, a blue ribbon. Now that's like a three-story ribbon. And that's a winner of best of state. So in Utah, there are over 100 nutrition companies. 
And out of all of those 100 here in Utah, year after year after year, we get best of state for all of our products. So I sit here tonight as having consumed these products for 21 years and I do the business. So I'm a little biased. I admit that. But we get, be we get winner of best of state and we have some pretty steep competition here in, in the state of Utah. I'll tell you that right now. So uh, consider that for just a second, that just out of those 100, we are the best every single year. And this company started uh, with this vision from Dr. Myron, Myron Wentz. He says, I dream of a world free from pain and suffering. I, I, I dream of a world free from disease. Love life and live it to, to its fullest in happiness and health. Now, this man has changed my life. He's changed countless others. Um, so he's the founder of USANA. He's also a world-renowned microbiologist and immunologist, not to mention a best-selling author and a philanthropist. So a little bit more about him, because I think it's important that you guys understand the founder of this amazing company and what he's accomplished in his life. So starting off in 1974, he started a company called Gull Laboratories, and he became a world leader in human cell culture and medical diagnostic technologies. So uh, he patented 41 diagnostic test kits uh, to treat, to uh, diagnose infectious disease that are currently used around the world in every single hospital, every single doctor's office, like uh, strep or uh, mononucleosis, also known as the kissing disease, right? Mono, they call it, Epstein Barr virus. So he had a shift in research focus from disease diagnostics to health maintenance. And uh, he started USANA in 1992. He received an Albert Einstein Award in 2007. That's pretty much like receiving the, the Nobel Peace Prize in the science world. And in fact, he's the only American scientist to have ever received it. He had to go to Israel to go and pick that up. And uh, in 2012, we celebrated 20 years in business. Our flagship product are the essentials. And uh, they're precisely balanced amounts of vitamins and minerals with cell-protecting antioxidants. That's what we talked about earlier, right? We talked about how we're not getting enough antioxidants. We're not eating enough fruits and vegetables. So if someone says, Marshall, I want to take some USANA products, where, where do I begin? I'm going to say you got to start with the foundation. you got to start with the essentials, okay? We also have what we like to call the optimizers. We have for every single function of the body from cardiovascular system, the nervous, cellular, skeletal, endocrine, and digestive. Now the coolest part about this company is that they understand that me as a distributor, I'm out there sharing these products with people and uh, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not a nutritionist. So USANA developed a state-of-the-art, award-winning software called True Health Assessment. Now, this is a, uh, a fun and interactive, fast way to find out which products are right for you and your body and your lifestyle. So this takes about less than 10 minutes to take this health assessment. It's HIPAA compliant or HIPAA approved, and it's going to give you three reports about top health, health risk areas, a lifestyle plan, and the best part, product recommendations. So I usually tell people to go with at first the top three uh, recommended ones and go from there. There's no more going to the store and guessing what you need, right? It's, uh, this, this is just fantastic. So I encourage every single person, if you haven't already taken this on this webinar tonight, to ask the person who invited you to this call and take the True Health Assessment. One of the really cool things that USANA does as well that no one else can even touch is a customized approach that's unique just like you. So we can create the AM and PM packs with the specific nutritionals that were recommended to you in your true health assessment. And uh, it's just 
awesome. I love taking my health pack, my cut, my health pack. It has my name on it. You check this out. So personalized nutrition for Marshall Manley. Now you can see that my AM, I have some similar ones in my AM and my PM, but uh, there's also some different ones depending on when I need it. So no one else is doing this. I'll tell you that right now. We have nutrition for the whole family. We have baby care essentials, which are for uh, you know prenatal nutrition. We have body rocks for teenagers and usonimals for children. My kids, ages five and three, absolutely fight over their usonimals every day. They want this, this, they want this animal or that animal, and they're always reminding us to give it to them. It's it's great, and it's uh, it's definitely a better option than the the vitamins, the children's vitamin I showed you guys earlier. So I told you guys earlier in this presentation too that we are the best of state award in the state of Utah. Well, we are also the Editor's Choice Award winner in this book called Comparative Guide to Nutritional Supplements. Go on Amazon.com tonight, buy this book. I believe it's like $10 to $15.00. And uh, this company compares over 1,600 nutritional supplements. They already did all of the guesswork for you. They took all of the guesswork out of it for you. And they said, these companies are good and these ones are bad. Here you go. And uh, it's just awesome. So get that. Uh, we were number one out of 1,600. So again, that tells you something about this amazing company. I work in the medical field. So it's it's so reassuring to me as well that our products are found in the physician's desk reference and in Canada in the compendium of pharmaceuticals and specialties. So uh, one of the reasons for that, actually, I'm going to stick right here on this one. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because we have a, uh, an FDA registered manufacturing facility that is absolutely above and beyond what is required in the supplement world. So we, we have to comply with the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical guidelines of the drug industry when we are manufacturing our supplements. So pretty sweet. So what about weight management? Does USANA have something for that? Um, we absolutely do. It's called Reset. And there's three different phases, jumpstart, transform, and maintain, depending on where you're at with how many uh, with how much weight that you want to lose. Um, there's so many diets out there that are confusing you guys. Carbs, do I, do I eliminate the carbs? Do I eliminate the sugars or calories or fat? You know, what do we do? And uh, the only thing that USANA really likes to focus on is the glycemic index. Or, or in other words, does it spike your blood sugar? So this is the typical um, roller coaster of America, up and down, up and down. Spike your blood sugar, then you crash, and you spike your blood sugar, and then you crash, right? Next time you see this symbol, that's exactly, you know exactly what's going to happen, right? I love, uh, I love putting that on there. Obviously, that's not true, but it's a very interesting coincidence. You know what I'm saying? So when you have sugar spikes, right, um, you're going to have insulin that's released. When you have when you have uh, sugar drops or crashes, you're gonna crave sugar. You're gonna crave carbs, okay? And when you have insulin that's released, and on the bottom end, when you have cortisol released, those are fat storing hormones, okay? You don't want those hormones in your body if you want to maintain a healthy weight or if you're trying to lose weight, okay? So low glycemic eating prevents sugar spikes and cravings. So it keeps your blood sugar stable the entire time. And uh, one other great thing about our USANA food line is that we are very focused on the micronutrients, obviously on one side, the vitamins and the minerals, right? We talked about that um, in, the, in the, a little bit earlier in this presentation and the macronutrients. Okay, all, all these protein shakes out there, all they have is pure protein, that's it. They don't have any good carbs or fatty acids. It's just the protein. So make sure you're picking a great shake. So we don't really call our shakes protein shakes. We call them meal replacements. Because with water, 
they're actually 240 calories. Now you add milk and bananas and some peanut butter or something, you're at, you have a 500 calorie fully balanced meal replacement. And when you're taking it with your supplements, you also are taking those with uh, you know, the highest quality micro nutrients mixed with your shakes, which are the macro nutrients, right? So it's amazing. You know, USANA foods are for everyone. They're convenient. They're great tasting. They're great for you. And again, they're low glycemic with healthy ratios, and they have a broad appeal. They're all gluten-free. We have varying protein options and uh, non-GMO protein, of course. We have protein snacks and nutrition bars. Fantastic. These are also super balanced with a uh, healthy amounts of carbs, fats, and uh, fibers and proteins. This is one of my favorite bars, the, uh, the USANA Berry Nutty. Mother Nature Gone Wild. Love it. And if someone wants to start losing some weight, maybe they just want to lose five pounds, or maybe they want to get started on the program, we recommend the jumpstart phase with our USANA Reset Kit. Now get with the person who invited you on this call tonight, if that interests you, and they will tell you how to get one for yourself and get started on that. I've had such fantastic results with our weight management system. This is uh, some great friends and business partners of ours, Jason and Alicia Connolly. Alicia's down about 90 pounds right now, and Jason is down 60 pounds, and they've both kept it off for, uh, I think it's been a year or two now. Jason Connolly actually won the Reset Challenge two years ago, and that challenge is going on right now, and it's not too late to go to ResetNationChallenge.com and start your transformation as well. Now, the last one of the last product lines I want to mention tonight is our skincare line. Okay, when I first started this business, I was like, you know what? That's just really not for me. I'm going to stick with the supplements and the shakes. But I'll tell you guys right now that this, this skincare line is so unique to anything on the market. The first reason why is because Dr. Wentz, he uh, actually developed and patented this, this line, and it has no chemical preservatives, and it doesn't have to be refrigerated, but it has a patented self-preserving technology. So there are literally no harmful chemicals, colors, artificial, artificial uh, scents, and things like that. It is the cleanest skincare line on the market right now. And again, it's patented. Just like how Dr. Wentz patented those, um, those diagnostic test kits, right? He did the same thing with this. And you guys that are watching this right now, you guys, our skin is the largest organ on our body. Why don't we take care of it like the girls do? We need to take care of it just as much as they do. Okay, we gotta preserve the sexy. Am I right, my friends? So start using the Sanse products on yourself as well. Our company represents over 750 elite, elite athletes that take our supplements. One of the reasons for that is because we're the only company in the world that has a $1 million athlete guarantee. Unheard of. We've been doing that for 25 years, and not one other company has stepped up to the plate and has matched that because no one has the manufacturing processes like we do. If an athlete that takes our products uh, tests positive for illegal or banned substances, they're gonna get a, they're gonna get up to a million dollars. So uh, that tells you something about our company as well. Here are just a couple of our uh, companies that we sponsor that we are the official health supplement supplier. The WTA on the bottom, I always like to point that one out, the Women's Tennis Association. That's like Serena Williams and those girls. There's about 200 women in the WTA, and uh, they all take the USANA products. So it's pretty sweet. We have a healthy alternative to the crash and burn energy drinks out there, Rev3. I don't go a day without it, you guys. It's cleaner, it's smarter, and it's stronger. So if you're a, an energy drinker or a soda drinker, I highly encourage you to switch over to something that's healthier for you, okay? 
We uh, recently became a trusted partner and sponsor of the Dr. Oz Show. Uh, in fact, today, one of our products called Vision X, which is uh, obviously eye support, was featured this morning on the Dr. Oz Show. And a thousand people who logged on to his website and requested that will get it for free as well as the audience. And so it's really neat to see our products featured on his show. It doesn't, it, it's not an easy feat, my friends, to become a uh, <clears throat> trusted partner and sponsor of that show. It's been years in the making. In closing, right on time, my friends, I want to leave you with this quote from the Dalai Lama. He was asked a question, and this was his response. Man surprised me most about humanity because he sacrifices his health in order to make money and then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. I want you to think about that. Are you someone that's doing that right now? Are you in the American grind right now, working your tail off only to lose your health? You're working, 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 working for that huge house payment and that unnecessarily large car payment and all the other debt you know, that, that Americans so easily accrue? Are you sacrificing your health to make money? Because guess what, my friends? You're going to spend more money in the long run trying to get your health back. It is so much more affordable to invest in your health now than to try to get it back later. I can't tell you guys how many clients that we work with that are living this scenario right now. Don't let it be you guys. Don't be compelled to get your health back. Please. The first thing you should do is take the true health assessment, invest in your health today, and start with this. Find out which products are right for you and your body. Okay, that's number one. And I want to leave you guys with this, uh, with this last quote. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. It's from one of my favorite mentors, Mr. Jim Rohn. So after all that we've spoken about tonight, all of the, the free radicals that are, we're being exposed to on a daily basis, you know, the lack of, of uh, antioxidant nutrition, even if you think you're eating really healthy, I promise you, you're, you're not getting enough antioxidants. You're not getting enough vitamins and minerals. Are you taking subpar supplements because they're cheaper? Are you drinking protein shakes that are of poor quality? I encourage you guys tonight to evaluate what you're doing in your life and really invest in your health, invest in your health now. I love USANA's motto that everything we do helps you to love life and live it. So talk to your talk to the person who invited you on this webinar tonight and let them know are you a one? Are you ready to get started? Are you ready to order some products and give it a 90-day trial at a very minimum? Or are you a number two? Are you interested? But you need a little bit more information. I uh, I appreciate you guys so much in taking the time tonight and uh, spending it with me and learning a little bit more about how you can invest in your health. Let me um, take this off the screen really quick here and uh, so you guys can see my face one more time. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, it's coming. There you go. All right, guys. Let's see here. Just want to thank you guys one more time for your time. And again, to invest in your health, and to take the true health assessment. I promise you, it could change your life. It changed my dad's 21 years ago. It's changed my life, uh, not only physically, but financially as well. This Thursday, if you're in the Salt Lake City area where I am, um, this Thursday night at seven o'clock at USANA corporate headquarters, Brian Douglas, whose place I am taking tonight, is going to be speaking about the business side of our company. If you want to just be a customer, fantastic. We love customers. 
It is the lifeblood of residual income. And I promise you, you will love our products. But if, you're, if you want to know more about the business, I encourage you to find a local event, talk to the person who, who brought you tonight. And uh, I think that is pretty much it. Again, everything we do helps you love life and live it. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great night.